My name is Lance Bledsoe, and I am a high school math teacher, and I teach at Garner Magnet High School in Garner, North Carolina. With a flipped classroom, there is so much more space available in the classroom to do things that are much more cognitively challenging and cognitively engaging. The lecture is so much more a passive activity for the students and when you have this space and, and the lecture is not taking up all that space, you can now do much more cognitively challenging activities for the students. You can also free up all of that energy that you as a teacher were using you know, on the lecture part. You can free up all that energy now to do other things, come up with more engaging activities for the students. Today what we were working on was kind of a follow-on or an extension of, uh, of the activity that we had started yesterday which had to do with uh, whiteboarding proofs. So the students are uh, putting proofs, uh, geometric proofs on whiteboards. They were working in pairs. And then uh, they I had them actually you know, insert errors into their proofs so that you know, the other students can you know, look through the proofs and find the errors. And then today I set the whiteboards back up at the front of the room and had uh, all the students um, I invited students up, you know, kind of one at a time to, you know, okay, now take a look at this proof and here's where the errors are and here's how you fix them. One of the great things about uh, the flipped model is that this, this time that I would have spent lecturing and, and teaching about, you know, like the particular characteristics of a parallelogram or a rhombus or, you know, here's how, you know, here's how the different uh, characteristics of these, uh, you know, quadrilaterals, you know, uh, go together. One of the great things about the flip model is that I don't have to spend you know, all that class time on that lecture. I've got those in videos and in much shorter videos, which the students you know, can, can watch at home. And so now when they come to class, you know, for the most part, they've got all that kind of basic content. Well, now we can take that content and we can actually put it into, you know, you, we can put it into this much more uh, you know, higher cognitive challenge type of activity. And, and that's, what the, that's what the proofs, uh, that's what proofs do in general, and that's what the whiteboarding activity is about.